good good morning my youtube viewers it's crystal here um you know i've been making youtube videos on spreadsheets for the last couple of days and what i thought is i thought that i would make you a show you how you can make a really easy listing of earnings and expenses that you have to present to the DWP monthly if you are on universal credit. Now I have another spreadsheet that I use for his income and expenses that is used to calculate his earnings and expenses that goes to HMRC because my boyfriend keeps uh, receipts for all of his earnings and expenses. But this is just something really simple that you can do, you can make if you're a non-financial person and you want to um, keep track of your earnings and expenses that you have to submit to the DWP if you're on universal credit. And my boyfriend is self-employed and because he's self-employed, he has to submit his earnings and expenses to DWP monthly because he's on universal credit and so I just thought that since I've been making so many a few videos on spreadsheets like on Excel I thought I'd show you this particular spreadsheet that I made for my boyfriend I did it on uh, Google Sheets but you can do it on Excel if you want to Google Sheets is free, so if you're on universal credit, it's probably best to try to learn how to use Google Sheets because it's free, whereas Excel isn't free. So you've got a spreadsheet here that's got one, two, three, four, five columns. So it's got five columns of data. So the first column is going to be your date. Second column is going to be earnings. Third column is going to be reason. Fourth column is going to be expenses, and fifth column is going to be reason as well. And this is just something really simple to keep track of your earnings and expenses that you're going to submit to the DWP if you're on universal credit. And then so every month you have to do that, and they'll send you a text message and ask you to submit your earnings and expenses. And then every month, is separated by a blank line so we'll take May so in May he had four straight four bits of income coming in what two bits of income were for cleaning and two bits of income were for leaflet distribution that's what he got in May and he didn't have any expenses in June he had quite a bit more. He had um, he had two bits of income from leaflet distribution and three bits of income from cleaning jobs. And you can be more specific. I just said cleaning, but you can be more specific and say the name of the person that gave you the money if you want to. If you want to make the spreadsheet more specific. It's quite easy to do that, but I just kept this very generic, very general. And then he had expenses. He had uh, 14 pounds travel for four days, and then he had 65 pounds for a bus pass because he has to travel to do his work, so he claims his travel. And that's what we did. He earned for June, and then you had a blank line, a blank row, a blank row was uh, separating that month from the next month, which would be mostly July. And then I'm not going to go through the rest of the spreadsheet because it's just going to be telling you, um, telling you what what the income and expenses are. But I'll go through this next one, the June and July one. He had two bits of income from. Um, Cleaning. Now I'm going to say this 30, that's for cleaning. I don't know what happened. I don't know what happened, but I think it's cleaning. 
so I'm just going to say claiming there. And then I had to give him some money because because he's on universal credit. He had to take time off to help me. But that didn't come to fruition as well either because they were supposed to be upgrading my kitchen, which they never did. But I had to pay him to stay home and help me even though he didn't. And that's another issue. But because he's on universal credit, he can't just like not go to work because he has to be earning money. So I gave him 25 pounds just to stay home and help me that day. And um, if you want to know how to calculate your, um, if you want to know how to calculate it, it's really for the universal credit. It's really easy to do that. So you just come over here. And you block out all of your income. And you can see on the bottom right hand side of the page. You had a 448.3 income. And then that was his income. And then you block out the expenses. He had 67.48 in expenses. And then whenever you go on to Universal Credit. They were going to ask you what your income is. If you want to, you can be very specific and say, I got 30 pounds from this person or uh, 25 pounds from this person and be very specific. But that's going to take a lot of time. And the way we just did it was we just put the total amount that he earned and say cleaning and leaflet distribution. And that was acceptable to DWP. DWP accepted that. So now we're in July and August, and um, we're still still um, calculating our income and expenses. And um, so what's going to happen is in a few days, he will receive a text message from the DWP telling the DWP telling him to submit his income and expenses to the DWP and then what he'll have to do is he'll have to go on to his own personal computer and put the income and expenses that he's made for that month and generally I tell him what it is so so generally we're just going to say I think in the next few days he's going to get a text message he's going to say he will have earned 480 pounds 20p income and then his expenses will have been 66.75. And the thing is, is that you can be you can be really specific, but it's going to take a lot of time to do it. So you can say, I got cleaning from Joe Blogs and I got cleaning from Jane Smith and stuff like that. But you can do that, but it's going to take a lot of time to do that. And the way that we just do it is just say the total amount for cleaning and leaflet distribution. So uh, that's it. That's it. I showed you how a really easy way for non-financial people to record their income and expenses in a spreadsheet. I recommend that if you're on universal credit that you use Google Sheets because Google Sheets is free. So that's it for this particular video. Uh, I just want, I thought it would be a good thing to make a video to help people out. And um, if you like my video, please like and subscribe. Thank you so much for watching my video. And I look forward to making more videos for you in the future.